Now, what um, what is your daily writing routine like? So I'm here in my office. Um, I I'm usually out here by 9 a.m. I'm here 9 to 6, but I'm I. Yeah, I'm 20 feet away from my house, so I can I can wander back in. I know the feeling. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I can I can go in and out pretty freely. I try to get three hours of writing done a day, and so I usually do this as sprints. And so people who follow me on Twitter can see, like, I'm saying I'm about to start a write sprint. Who wants to join me? I usually start a sprint at the top of the hour. Mm. So like at 10 a.m., I'm starting this, and that means for 60 minutes, I'm doing nothing but writing. And in Highland Two, we have a little timer function, so it. it it starts and it's counting my words that I do within that hour. So, and then when the hour is up, then I can step away. But like during that hour, I'm not Googling things. I'm just focusing on getting words on paper. Or, deep or deep just, work, deep writing, deep if work. you will. Yeah, I'm really, really writing. And then if I do three of those a day, I'm getting enough done that things will get finished. For a book, I'm hitting at least a thousand words a day. For a script, that's three to five, maybe seven pages. Um, You'll finish if you if you get that much done, and and there is kind of like a a, a disease of distractions that we have to deal with as as oh, yeah. just human beings in general, but as writers as creatives, uh, it's so brutal because you have little yeah. dings, you have little notifications, all that stuff. The concept of deep work. I don't know if you read that book, Deep Work, which is yeah. ama- it's an amazing book about just what you can get done if you actually just focus. Yeah, yeah, you should. You know, any tips on how to deal with, the, you know, what you know, do you do? You just block everything use, out? Yeah, I used to use this um, app called Freedom, which like blocks your internet connection. <laughs> yeah. And like, that's great if it works. I found just, you know, actually starting the timer and just like saying 60 minutes is enough for me. Like I, it'll keep me on task, but everyone's different. So recognizing that what works for somebody else may not be the right solution for you, but there probably is a solution for you. And this is, this is my version of it. Mm-hmm. The other thing I will say is that I've never been one to write in sequence. And so I will write whatever scene appeals to me to write that day. And so I'm, I, I let myself freely hop around because when you're making a movie, when you're editing a movie, you're going to be doing that naturally anyway. So just um, don't give yourself the excuse of like, well, I don't really know how to do this next scene. Then like, well, then don't do that scene. Do the other scene that you need that you actually have the energy to do. Because there's times where I feel like writing a big action sequence and there's times where I just want to have you know some happy bantery dialogue between some characters recognizing what you want to write that day is an important part of it. 